margin calls are coming for the hedge funds and institutions we have a reliable person that is giving us this information as well as a new rule from the dtcc that we must go over that is going to have a huge implication to short positions or just collateral in general in the stock market pertaining to hedge funds and institutions as well as that we're just going to go over a broad update on the ortex data and the 13f filings two of the most important things to be watching right now the 13 13F filings give us a indication of the settlement of the hedge funds and institutions behind AMC if hedge funds are going long or if they are continuing to short AMC stock. And we, we do have Wells Fargo and Goldman Sachs that have initiated brand new long positions on AMC stock. So I'm really excited to bring you guys that information as well as the Ortex data just because, you know, over the weekend they tend to refi refine their numbers. So let's not waste any time. Let's get into this video. I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. If you are new here, consider subscribing to the channel and sticking around a while. Let's get straight into it. So AMC did end regular trading on Friday up 0.40% and after hours up 0.65%. Definitely a good sign heading into monday which typically is very bullish but i did call out in the last video on friday that i did think that we would close in between 35 and 40 dollars per share because we were under 35 dollars. but i don't expect any big movement movements to the upside or the downside until earnings but this margin call situation does kind of change the outlook on amc definitely more to the bullish side so that's what you guys need to know until earnings i think not too much activity we'll go over what i think will happen because of this these margin call situations but i think that could just be an additive to what we are already going to see and to be quite honest with you guys i'm not a financial advisor not a financial planner but i do think amc is going to hit all-time highs after earnings if you follow this channel you know exactly why because earnings throughout 2021 have always produced a positive result back here in march up 60 percent back here in may up 1000 percent and the last earnings went up about 100 percent we usually top out about four weeks or one month after earnings so i definitely expect this next month or two to be incredibly bullish we're not we don't know when the actual earnings date will be. I wish we did. Some people say it's going to be Monday, which is still the estimate for the NASDAQ is November 1st. That is Monday. Or I've heard November 7th or the 9th. Doesn't matter. This is a time game. And time is going to be your friend in this situation. You don't want to be the one FOMO buying into AMC when it starts to rally. You want to be a part of AMC before it does rally so that's why i continue to buy more now let's move on to the ortex data and that is at 16.89 percent short interest of free float 86.41 million shares that are sold short and this is still incredibly high take the estimates with a grain of salt because we did just get the exchange reported short interest data October 26th, and that came in at 18.03%. And Ortex is indicating that we are about 1.3% lower now than what we were on October 26th. And we really haven't had any movement to the upside that would suggest 1.3% of short of the short interest of free float was covered. So take that with a big grain of salt. Still, even if that is the accurate number, still very, very bullish and very high. Share utilization is at 86.66%, a decent level, not too high, not too low, relatively the same unchanged from where we have been. Free flow on loan at 20.44%, so there is definitely ammo to continue to sell the stock short. Uh, but I don't, like I said, I don't think we're going to see a lot of shorting happening because I'm not the only one that knows AMC performs very well after earnings that Adam Aaron does have some bombshell announcements to come out on earnings. I'm not the only one. These hedge funds, these institutions that are short in AMC, they, I mean, maybe they know, maybe they don't. They're not that smart, so maybe they don't. Maybe they would continue to sell AMC stock short, but if they have any sense whatsoever, Right now is not the time to be shorting AMC. So that's why I don't really expect big price movements to the downside unless apes sell out to chase these other stocks, which I would never suggest anybody to do and i have not sold a single share of amc throughout this whole entire year so now let's move on to the 13 f filing something that i'm very excited to bring to you guys is wells fargo master trust they bought 28,407 shares as well as goldman sachs innovate uh, equity etf they bought about 28,000 shares as well but the overall situation here is very very bullish and there was actually two goldman sachs 
different ETFs that did buy, buy shares. This other one bought 23,607. So incredibly, incredibly bullish firms overwhelmingly are holding on to their positions. You're seeing a couple firms here and there that have sold out, but majority speaking, they're holding on to their positions where when their average cost on their share positions is you know, mid 40s, high 50s. Take a look at this Simplex Trading LLC, one of the largest long holders and short holders of AMC, did nothing with their position in the last quarter. Still have still has a put position at fifty five dollars, forty five dollars per share of fourteen thousand four hundred ninety one thousand seven hundred shares. A call position of about four point six million shares, and just shares of one point five two million shares at fifty five dollars forty five cents per share. So a lot of these firms are underwater on their positions, and the fact that they hold on to them a great sign. Because if you're a portfolio manager, the last thing you're going to do is hold on to a position when you're underwater on it, when you don't think it's ever going to come back in value so right here very very bullish all of this is bullish this whole video is bullish but now let's get into this whole margin call situation and why I say this comes from a reliable source this tweet right here is via covert bond one out of three we are hearing 10 to 20 different asset managers across the industry are being liquidated or are under review for liquidation due to interest rate derivatives it's a bloodbath the vix equity pool looks widely mispriced relative to what is happening it's two out of three in fixed income markets where you have a book that is wounded they need to sell liquid assets when they don't allow business cycles to fall Function and you don't allow price discovery in global capitalism for long periods of time and then academics who don't understand anything about risk all of a sudden unleash price discovery too fast they destroy things and that is what is happening and this guy Charles Gasparino he is Charles Gasparino joined Fox Business Network FBN in February 2010 as senior correspondent God country pull-ups and vodka in that order so this guy I mean if he's saying this this is definitely somebody that I would like to think is not just putting out information that is bad so I think there's a little bit more relative you know confirmation here than even just some random tweets that you would see so right here you're looking at liquidations literally in his words now what this is really pertaining to in my belief is going to be uh, DTCC this came out October 25th 2021 to all participants relating sediment and from uh, DTC risk management so changes to DTC collateral haircuts uh, it says beginning on October 29th that was on Friday for sediment date November 1st 2021 that is on Monday DTC will implement the following changes to modify the collateral value for certain securities which may affect the value of positions applied to the collateral monitor and if you guys are unaware you can't take on short positions I don't care who you are without having collateral the other party that is lending you those shares so you can take on that short position wants to make sure they will get repaid even if the market crashes they will still get repaid or if, if the stock goes crazy then again they will still get repaid so that's why you're seeing this but let's break it down so number one united states agencies and gse securities that are not real are, are not rated or rated aaa to aa2 slash triple a or double a will receive a haircut ranging between five percent and thirty five percent those rated below uh double a will receive a 100 percent haircut so basically what they're trying to do is get equities get stocks get different types of collateral that are not rated high right double a is pretty high on the standards to essentially even double the collateral that is needed for these positions a 100 percent haircut so you know if you had a billion dollar short position and you put up let's say 50 50 million dollars for collateral because you don't have to have you know one to one and that's just a, a far cry reference right then you'd have to put up another 50 million dollars that's just to put this all into perspective not saying that's actually generally how it works but even uh triple a to double a will receive a haircut ranging between five percent and 35 percent that's going to be your amazons your apples your even tesla i believe is rated triple a all these these companies even if you're using those as collateral you're still going to get a haircut and have to put more collateral in your positions 
And three, most securities with no active market prices for three consecutive days will receive a 100% haircut. This will apply to new securities during the initial issuance stage and to active securities where, where DTC has not received a vendor price for three business days. The only exception to this rule will be mortgage-backed securities, MBS, issued by U.S. agency or GSE. These securities will continue to receive a 100% haircut if DTC has not received a vendor price the prior business day. So everything is receiving a haircut and this is essentially a margin call and as we do know a lot of these firms they're not putting high collateral in these short positions specifically around amc and these other highly shorted stocks so there's going to be a need for money to flow back into essentially these collateral positions aka a margin call that's the simplest way to put it and that's really all you guys do need to know just keeping this very very simple here on the low range five to 35 percent across the board on the higher end range which would is basically what we're seeing with these these short sellers with their collateral positions on amc going to receive a hundred percent haircut have to double your collateral and this is really all coming from the over leveraged you know situation in our market september 21st uh, 2021 we had 903 uh 117 billion dollars of margin that is outstanding we're almost at one trillion dollars of margin outstanding that is absolutely insane but we also do have the fed meeting november 20 november 1st or 2nd through the third excuse me for that and that is at 2 p.m fomc minutes and we're gonna have jerome powell meeting and discussing everything but we are expected to see tapering this could cause the market to sell off or even this is going to be you know more rare i don't think this is going to happen but they might hike interest rates trying to combat inflation if that happens you could see the market selling off i think that's why on november 1st they need the dtcc needs more margin collateral for these short positions or just margin in general so that is the situation here hopefully you guys got some value out of it hit that like button for me consider subscribing to the channel let me know in the comment section what do you guys think about this information i tend to think this is very bullish for amc and very credible information from charlie charles gasparino so that's going to be all if you guys want to support the channel or get access to all of my trades in real time check out the links for that in the description of this video and that's going to be all so you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend and i'll see you in the next one